Welcome to Muck Anime, the mukbang with an anime review of a manga or anime I like. Today's manga is My Hero Academia Team Up Mission, Volume 1. And today's meal are two Korean egg toast sandwiches. One chicken teriyaki, the other bacon, egg, and cheese. If my hair is looking more blue than usual, uh, I just got my hair cut done at the time of this recording. It's probably diluted by now. So, if you're a fan of My Hero Academia, and a fan of My Hero Academia Vigilantes, the spinoff, I'd also recommend checking out this spinoff, My Hero Academia Team Up Mission. Team Up Mission is drawn and written by Yoko Akiyama, who is formerly one of Kohei Horikoshi's assistants, uh, the original creator of My Hero Academia. A lot of complaints I hear about My Hero Academia are that uh, people wish that they would, the students would spend more time at school or doing fun school activities and whatnot. And I'm definitely one of those people. I love the arcs in the original series that are more school focused, uh, like the sports festival in season two or the cultural festival in season four. Uh, it's just fun to see these kids just be kids while doing their superhero things instead of the gritty, dark fighting stuff. Uh, not that I don't enjoy some of those arcs, but uh, some of the uh, more quote-unquote slice-of-life arcs stand out better than the actual story-driven arcs. Now here comes uh, Team Up Missions. Team Up Missions is just a bunch of stories consisting of the My Hero characters doing random things throughout the My Hero world. Sometimes they are on missions uh, doing stuff with other heroes, but it's not super relevant to the plot. It's just fun little adventures. You get moments like Deku, Bakugo, and Uraraka teaming up with Mirko, the rabbit hero. The One of the first chapters in this volume is that uh, All Might is just trying to run across town to deliver a paper and submit it in time for the students to, to have them administer for this program. And everyone in town is just stopping him because he's a big celebrity. And it's cute. It's just fun seeing these uh, characters just exist in this world beyond uh, villains attacking and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Some other examples uh, in both books out so far. Uh, there is a <laughs> uh, one of my favorite chapters is that uh, Todoroki, Bakugo, and two of the Shiketsu High students need to go uh, make soba under a uh, soba themed hero, and uh, and there's a great joke of Todoroki whose favorite food is soba, is just really bad at making soba. Um, oh man, I'm watching back on this video and I'm seeing a fly land on this one of the other sandwiches and. Now I'm really sad because I'm pretty sure I ate that entire thing. Uh, I should have just gotten one sandwich. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, um, another uh, few chapters that is interesting uh, in the first volume is that they focus on Melissa Shield. Uh, if you're familiar with the My Hero franchise, Melissa Shield is from the first movie, uh, Two Heroes. Um, and it's nice to see... A uh, chapter about Melissa Shield and Hatsume Mei sh uh, show off their uh, inventions and intellect in the hero world. Um, it's just nice to see these movie characters be uh, part of the canon. I know Horikoshi tries to make the the whole uh, Horikoshi tries to make everything involved my hero part of the canon, and they do fit in some ways or forms. Um, it, it, at least with the movies, it's nice to see uh, um, uh, the characters all just be part of a bigger world that isn't just a, a revolving around Deku and his big old uh, power-ups to, to save the day. Uh, not, again, not that I don't enjoy a streamlined story such as that, it's just a big charm of the series and especially like Horikoshi's art or, you know, uh, seeing how these cute characters interact in really cute situations. Um, at the end of the day, they are children. Um, which is why I'm really impressed with Yoko Akiyama. Um, this, a lot of their art looks a l very close to Horikoshi's art. Um, I think they nailed like the style down really well, and it's really cute and charming. Um, uh, there's even down to the paneling. Like, their art truly stands out, and what made me pick up this spinoff in the first place. So yeah, like I said, if you're a big fan of the original My Hero series and uh, want more and want more different side stories. Um, I recommend checking this out. It's really sweet and really cute. Now I'm coming from a, 
I'm coming from the perspective of being a very big My Hero Academia fan, and uh, I really appreciate these volumes. Uh, I personally, as it stands right now, I have a big attachment to the series, but I am a bit disappointed to, of I'm a bit disappointed about certain arcs and where it's going at the moment, um, which is why seeing these volumes is such a big uh, fresh, breath of fresh air. It's really nice to see characters who normally don't interact getting to interact with each other. It's also nice seeing uh, these really cute, harmless, one-off adventures, uh, but also going back to their growth. Uh, uh, a lot of Deku here is less about punching like he's been in recent arcs or later parts of the series, and more going back to his roots of like, okay, how can I think use my you know uh, obsession with quirks and studying to figure out how to save the day or help people. Um, now following other characters, there are moments that I did not expect to get the spotlight. For example, a chapter about Fat Gum and his cr uh, crew with like Sun Eater, Momo, and Ida, a combination I did not expect to see in the main series and I'm happy to see in this series, uh, helping uh, a young girl find her Prince Charming. <laughs> Uh, there are a lot of endearing little setups in this in this uh, series, and I, I hope that more comes of it. Uh, I, at this time, there's only, I believe there are only two volumes um, it localized here. I'm not sure about overseas, uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's with with the other uh, spinoff series, Vigilantes, wrapping up. Uh, this is definitely a fun one to pick up. Um, I know a lot of people also, uh, I, I know if you're a fan of uh, My Hero Academia Smash, it's, this is not quite as comedic as that one, uh, but this is just uh, really cute, wholesome stories. Um, you know, think of it as, uh, uh, if you're a fan of, uh, think of it as really fun filler uh, that is also staying true to the, who the characters are and we get more from them and get to see different interactions. Um, yeah. Uh, um, now again, uh, my thoughts on the main series are very different compared to this one, but uh, uh, this as its own, even if you're not a My Hero Academia fan and you just want to see superhero kids do their own little thing and have fun little interactions, I think this is a good way to uh, get to know them as well. Um, and uh, yeah, much like American comic books, you, you just you don't need to know everything. You just read a random story, and if you don't know the the back uh, the backlog or the backstory of it, then you go to the main thing, right? Or you just jump around. And this is just so harmless on its own uh, that I think anyone can pick it up. And uh, yeah. Um, as always, let me know what you think if you've read it or plan to read it. Um, also, what you guys think of uh, the main series, My Hero Academia, and the other spin-off, Vigilantes. Um, I'd like to do more My Hero-focused things at some point, but, uh, but yeah. Just wanted to start off with something very simple uh, as my first muck anime uh, have since moving to Dallas. And uh, awesome. Cool. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!